In this presentation, we'll be covering the basic anatomy of the orbits in preparation for radiographic examination. The bases of the orbits are composed of three bones. The frontal bone is most superior and makes up the orbital plate, the zygoma laterally, and the maxilla inferiorly. Portions of multiple cranial and facial bones compose the orbital socket. The technologist should be able to identify the three cranial and four facial bones that make up the orbit. The cranial bones include the ethmoid, frontal, and sphenoid bones, while the facial bones include the lacrimal, maxillary, palatine, and zygomatic bones. Another important anatomy of interest, particularly for radiography, include the openings in the orbit. There are three openings we need to be aware of. The optic foramen allows for passage of the optic nerve, arterial and venous flow to the eye, and will be used for one of the primary positioning criteria for the Reese view, which we'll discuss in the next lesson. This is separated from the superior orbital fissure by the sphenoid strut, and below those is the inferior orbital fissure. This slide depicts the pathway of the optic foramen within the orbit. It's angled 30 degrees to the OML vertically and laterally at a 37 degree angle to midline. Again, we'll revisit this information when we discuss the radiographic positioning for the optic foramen. A tripod fracture occurs when the zygomatic bones are displaced from their articulations with surrounding cranial and facial bones. A blowout fracture can happen when an object hits the orbital bones and the eyeball with tremendous force anteriorly, causing pressure to build up within the orbit that thrusts the bones out laterally. These are common with motor vehicle accidents, baseballs and softballs, and fists or elbows, and are often accompanied by blood collection in the maxillary sinuses. So we try to include those in the upright views with a horizontal beam.